Hey, hello everyone. Another data analysis video. Again, focusing on data wrangling and manipulating data to get into some sort of uh, nice, tidy format so we can do some sort of data analysis with it. Um, as usual, I'm working in um, in Jupyter Notebook and I'm using Python and the various software libraries in Python uh, to analyze, manipulate, and analyze data. Uh, so I'm going to what I'm going to do in this notebook uh, in this particular video is demonstrate how how you would split a data frame into two random subsets where you allocate a certain percentage of the data to one object and the remainder to another. And this can be useful for kind of machine learning tasks and statistical learning analyses where we might want to assess how well a statistical model performs at predicting out of sample data. So this is often, this is commonly referred to as train test split. Uh, where we fit some sort of statistical model such as multiple regression or linear regression something like that uh, and we train it on part of the data set and then we test it on another part of the data set that it hasn't seen before to see how well it generalizes when we present uh, the model with with observations that it hasn't seen before okay so uh, I'm going to, to do this, I'm going to import pandas and numpy, kind of a couple of standard software libraries um, that are going to be useful for what we're going to do here. So it's particularly pandas. So I'm importing pandas as pd as normal, I'm importing numpy as mp, both those nicknames make them easy to use. And the data I'm going to use is data that was, it was recorded by um, one of my graduate students, Mario Bonfrisco for his MSc by research a few years ago. Uh, so I've got this CSV file saved on my computer. It's called Mario MSC data.csv. Um, and I'm gonna read that in and I'm gonna save it as a, a pandas data frame object with a called MAS for convenience. So I'm using the, we've seen this a number of times before in videos I've recorded, using the pd.read underscore CSV method and I'm going to just import import that data set. So let's split this data frame into two random subsets. Um, so like, first of all, let's look at the length of this particular data frame. So if I use this command here, I'm, I'm basically asking for the uh, len and then in, in parentheses, I'm passing um, this data frame object, the pandas data frame object that we just created in MAS. So if we run this command, what you see is um, we've got a data frame that's 589 rows long. So there are 589 observations, probably participants in this data set. Um, and what what we might want to do um, if we're if we're wanting to split this data frame into a kind of train test split, um, we might want to separate split it uh, into. 75% of the data to be used for training, our whatever our model is, our statistical model uh, or our machine learning model that we're interested in. And then the other 25% that don't, uh, that we don't include in that first portion, we'll save that and use that as the, as the uh, test data. So we're gonna split this data set on a 75-25 random split. And we're going to do, use what's known as the dot sample method. Um, and we're going to assign the sample to a new data frame. Okay, so what you can see here is I'm creating from MAS, I'm creating a new object, MAS underscore one. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the MAS data frame object and using this dot sample method. And what I'm passing in, in as parameters inside these parentheses are uh, frac. The fraction equals 0.75 okay so what i'm asking here is i'm gonna i'm saying take a random sample use this sample method and sample 75 percent 0.75 um, of the of the observations in the data frame and uh, i'm passing another argument here random underscore state equals one two three four i'm just doing that to set a seed basically so um, this can be replicated so you know someone else if they were going to run this again they can re replicate this exact split so if uh, if 
uh, you had this data frame and you were to and you were to then run this same you, you wanted to run exactly the same train test split as I'd run here um, you could set this random seed and it, it will take a random sample of the same 75% of the data okay so let me run that uh, so we now have a new we are now have a new data frame object called mass one which is a sample of 75% of the observations or participants in the data set okay uh, so the with the other 25% the remaining 25% we want to assign that to another data data set or another data frame object so I'm going to create this new object mass underscore two um, and I'm going to use the dot drop method okay so I'm going to I'm, what I'm doing is I'm saying uh, take the mass of the original data frame mass uh, dot drop and the thing that I'm telling it to drop is is all the values that match the index for those that have been sampled for the mass one data frame object so hopefully that's clear what's happening is mass one contains a data frame of 75% of the observations in the original data set. MAS2 contains a data frame of uh, where everything has been dropped that's contained in MAS1. So they, which would essentially give us the other 25% of observations that have not been used. So if I run that and we can check uh, that that's worked properly so you know if we uh, if we combine mas1 and mas2 we should have a data file that matches the length of our original mas data file 589 observations so that's all i'm doing in this cell is kind of checking the length of both matches the length of the original data file so i'm i'm using this length length function len for length and I'm passing MAS1 and then I'm adding to that the length of MAS2. And if uh, this has worked correctly, we should have 589 observations and we do. Um, so another thing we can do is we can use the index to show that every participant is in either uh, MAS1 or MAS2. And if I, what I'm doing here is uh, I'm taking the MAS1 objects using dot index dot sort values method if i run that it will return a list of all of the all of the indices for the observations that are contained in mas1 okay so you can see observation 0 5 6 7 9 quite a random selection but we can see here the length of it is 442 values long and we can do the same for MAS2. If I run that, it should, what we should see, we, we should be able to check uh, with, by just briefly looking at this, uh, that the, the, the indices for each observation in MAS2 doesn't match the ones in MAS1. So here, you know, we've got 0 and 5 are in MAS1, 1, 2, 3 and 4 are in mass two as we would expect so that looks all uh, that all looks like it's in order and we've managed to split this data frame into two objects um mass one and mass two mass one contains 75 percent of the values mass two contains the other 25 percent because it's the length of it is 147. one thing to note though one thing you need to keep in mind is this this approach i've just used here where we've used the index and sort values method to, to kind of just quick visually check uh, that we don't have any duplicated uh, val indices, ob observations in both data sets. Um, this is only going to work if each of the indices, index values are, are unique. So if you have, um, if you had, if we had say 500, um, 500 observations and uh, 250 participants and that ran index 0 to 250 and then uh, 0 to 250 again um, this this little method we used at the end here just to sort of quick and dirty check 
um, that it had work would not work. Okay, because the because the indices wouldn't be unique, and then what we would have to do in that case is probably reset the index so it ran from zero to whatever the length of our data set was, and then record again, and then uh, run this again. So we're splitting the data set again. Okay, so um, hopefully that's useful. Um, what we then use this, what we then do with this is. Um, what we then do with this is fit some sort of regression analysis, uh, fit some sort of regression model on uh, MAS1, and then see how well uh, see how well that fits, and then we could run the same thing on MAS2 to see see if uh, our model can make accurate predictions that are not contained within the original set of data.